third video, welcome back. So this time I want to talk about the Regina Humane Society and my experience with the Regina Humane Society and some of the volunteer hours that I fulfilled there. Um, so I was part of a program. I had to uh, become a volunteer and take the right, um, I guess, classes in order to sign up for this program. What it all entailed was I had to um, sign up for different time at the Humane Society and go and pick up one of the animals that they had that day and take it to whatever given care home or um, learning center that I was supposed to visit to that day. And I remember specifically one of my first times um, doing this, I was assigned to go to uh, the Orange Tree Village Center that's just in um, South Harbor Landing. And I had this cat with me and I believe her name was Rosie and she was the sweetest thing. Um, Fairly made a sound, just so sweet. Anyway, um, I showed up to Orange Street Village and I met with the coordinator there and she took me throughout the building. Uh, the first place that we visited was the kind of, um, I guess you could say their like game room. They had a little kitchenette and they had a bunch of tables set up, almost like a dining room, but they also um, played cards and watched TV and stuff here, just kind of their like entertainment area. Um, I showed up with the cat and I let her out. I put her on her leash and immediately they're all there sitting, waiting to play with this cat. Um, with this being like one of my first experiences with the Regina Humane Society, I didn't really know what to expect going into it. And as soon as that cat came out and I gave them some toys to play with her, they, their, their smiles just lit up their faces. Um, it was crazy to see that even being able to spend a few minutes with an animal really brought that much more joy and happiness to their days. Um, and another thing about Orange Tree Village is their building is separated into different wards. I don't remember the exact names of them, but so they'll have one ward that is for um, kind of temporary home. People who um, may only be there uh, for a short period of time, maybe they're recovering from something and just need a little extra attention and they can't um, buy their or I guess on their own anymore. Um, another ward would be kind of the more extended care ward. Um, so these, they like to call themselves tenants, would live there uh, probably for the rest of their life just due to not being able to take care of themselves and not having any, um, I guess, family members or relatives, friends that have the opportunity to stay home with them and look after them. And then the last ward that we visited that I really um, kind of took a lot from was the memory garden. So the memory garden is the ward that um, all of the tenants suffer from uh, like either Alzheimer's or dementia or some sort of disease that is slowly affecting their memory. And due to disclosure reasons, I won't say the name of who I visited, but um, he was this really kind older gentleman. And I remember knocking on his door and seeing how he was, asking him if he wanted to see the cat because some of them don't like cats. And he was so excited. He didn't even know what to do. And so I was probably sitting with him for about 15 minutes and he was just cuddling this cat, telling me about all the farm cats that he had when he was younger and all the pets that he had and 
how it, when it got nice, he used to go take them for walks and stuff all the time. And it really, um, coming back to earlier when I was talking about different forms of disability, this really made me more aware of just how um, much of an impact that uh, your brain and mental health can have on an impact on yourself. So these people suffer with psychological disabilities um, rather than just physical. I mean, with aging comes along some physical disabilities, but most of these tenants suffered from, um, like I said, Alzheimer's and dementia. And although this man had no idea who I was, uh, he couldn't remember why I was there after the end of the visit. He still was able to understand that there was, there was a cat there to see him and he wanted to play with the cat. And as I walked throughout this ward, um, it really um, made me kind of appreciate uh, the abilities that I was given and that I haven't suffered with any um, like limited abilities, whether that be physically, mentally, uh, psychologically, emotionally. Um, although there has been previous experiences in my life that have shaped me to be the way that I am, I am still very grateful and fortunate for, um, you could say, being able-bodied. And I think that, uh, Everyone should have an experience like this. They should be able to understand um, that disability is not just physical. And that even though there might not be something that you can do to help uh, physically, that there's always something that you can do to put a smile on someone's face.